Final Security and Analytic 7.4.1 Demo Series, multi tenancy Security and Analytic Operation. This series is presented to you by the Security and Analytics Marketing TME team. Uh, my name is Hannes Boer. I'm here to present to you the analytics. Remember, the main core of Security and Analytics is to collect network data telemetry, which means rich telemetry from switches and routers and firewalls, including NetFlow, IPFix, JFlow, and others. This data is analyzed and used to do the first thing it does is visibility on every single entity inside the network and build behavior analytics for every one of these entities. Understand what each connected device does on the network and know when this device is acting abnormally. These, on top of this uh, behavior analytics detection, there is a multi-layer machine learning engine that does complex type of detection based on supervised and unsupervised techniques of algorithms to do a detection of threats based on high fidelity. On top of that, you could add the threat intelligence, which is powered by Talos, in order to detect communication to bad destinations, uh, while, whether it's a URL based or IP based, and know immediately there's something bad communicating inside the network. And finally, we can talk about internal traffic analytics, where it's actually used to detect malware communication throughout computer traffic or to do analysis on the actual computer traffic and type of uh, encryption and cipher suites. So let's have a short demo about uh, the Secure Network Analytics for SecOps and NetOps. The core and the main function of Secure Network Analytics is to provide security insights on your whole organization, looking at the alarming host, for example, here in a glimpse, anybody in SecOps can identify the top alarming host and the by type of category of alarms. You can see data holding, for example, in here, which means somebody is stealing data inside your network. Top alarming uh, host, you can see the most and malicious devices acting inside your network at any point in time can drill down into those and look furthermore. Also, you could look out for, for example, uh, machine learning based detection from global, global threat alerts. If you look at uh, those different type of alerts, they are uh, actually classified by risk. If I look, click on the asset details, I'll be redirected to the asset details uh, page looking at the different uh, information that I can have from this asset specific specifically on the alert uh, it was triggered. You can look at the user connected at this device, uh, the IP address, the device type, the platform belongs to, and all the bad activity that occurred on it. If I do asset details, I could look at this asset more, and I can see all the communication to all these bad destination, all the security events related to this uh, actual host and their types, like the space conduit, arcade young, uh, AD injector, and uh, depending on the type, you could see all the communications uh, to the domains and also to the autonomous system and their locations. So this is a very high level. How can you look at uh, security analytics from a SecOps perspective to identify bad behaviors based on statistical analytics or unsupervised and supervised machine learning uh, engines? Also, part of the main function of security analytics is to provide visibility on every single uh, activity inside the network, every single flow inside the network. You could identify anything from a network perspective. So if I look at, for example, dashboard, the report builder, I could easily create a new report, look at the network session, and you could see multiple different type of actual uh, network reporting. You could look at host group application traffic, for example, in the last 12 hours, I could uh, select a specific uh, inside host as an example. It's gonna look at the last 12 hours activity from different uh, type of application. You can add pie charts into here uh, to see different type of traffic, uh, including in a, in a beautiful way, and you can drill down into that. Uh, I noticed, for example, a big spike in my network. My inside host is four gigs suddenly to the internet. I want to know who actually is behind this traffic. I can just like zoom in and do top actual reports and do top, uh, top host, for example. Remember, you could do that anywhere inside your interface, not only in here, you can drill down into any type of flows to do investigation from a NetOps perspective. The flow search will be automatically built and run, and you can easily identify who is responsible behind this uh, spikes of traffic. You can see here at least uh, five or six hosts are responsible for all this traffic that occurred at that specific point in time. You can see the different uh, flows, and there is one peer comment between all of those. So this is from the perspective of NetOps. One of the features we're looking at, also from SecOps, we look at only one feature. There's plenty of other capabilities. This is an example of how we can actually look at security analytics from a SecOps perspective and from a NetOps perspective and easily narrow down to your target, 
either for security perspective or for network perspective. Finally, remember there is always an exciting reason to actually upgrade to 7.4.1 with the data store. And if you are a new customer, just try the free trial for 7.41. Thank you for listening for this video.